In today's mini episode of Ranking Doom, I'll be ranking all of the Doom Eternal mini events that have been released so far. This list will include Castle Grayscale, Return to Castle Grayscale, Slime Time, and all of the repeat mini events. Throughout the video, keep in mind that these events are being ranked compared to each other, not compared to the full events or skins. When comparing these mini events to regular events, most of them simply can't hold up with the skin quality, so I figured it was only fair to make a special tier list for the mini events. This was a pretty highly requested video, so if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing for more content, I would genuinely really appreciate it. If you want to show some support for the channel, a merch link will be left on screen and in the pinned comment below. With all of that out of the way, let's rank some doom. The first event that I'll be ranking is the Castle Grayscale event. This event included a desaturated paint elemental and mancubus along with three icons and a title. I find this event to be a bit lacking even when compared to the second grayscale event as it only includes 6 items with 2 of them being mediocre skins. Although I do enjoy recolors and these are kinda cool, it's just not up to par with some of the other skins on this list. The best part of the event is the black and white gibbo icon and the title set. This was their first mini event so I will cut them some slack with my rating but the extremely basic skins and average icons make this a D tier event in my opinion. The second mini event that I'll be ranking is Return to Castle Grayscale. This event is certainly a step up as it includes skins for the Revenant, Marauder, and the Archfile. It also comes with 4 icons and a title with this event's Mancubus icon being pretty cool. The Archfile and Revenant skins are on the same level as the last mini event but the Marauder skin includes a red axe and I think it brings a little flair to the event. The amount of items was definitely a good thing, I certainly enjoyed this event more than the first one. Because of that, I'll be putting this into the B tier. Moving on to the last original mini event, we have the Slime Time mini event. Unlike the previous two, this event is in full color and it includes three amazing ooze covered skins and some awesome icons. The skins for the Archfile and Mancubus are wonderful, they're a very nice shade of radioactive green. The glowing green effects on both of these skins is top notch. The Revenant skin is a little different as it includes some splashes of purple goo here and there. I wasn't too sure about this skin looking at it for the first time in third person, but after getting it in game, it's a great skin. Although the green is a bit off from the two matching skins, it's still great to look at. The three icons are definitely unique as well, this event as a whole sets a high standard for the next non-repeat mini event. Because of all of these great things, I'll be putting this event into the S tier. The next event I'll be ranking is the Series 1 Repeat Event, or as it's called, the ICYMI 1 Mini Event. It was such a great surprise to see this event come back when it did, having an easily missed event return for a short time was pretty sweet. There's obviously nothing to really rank about the event as it's just a carbon copy of the Series 1 event, but due to them bringing skins back for the first time, I'll be putting this event into the A tier. Next up is the second repeat event, Last Chance Coffee and Camo. Again, it was cool to see this event come back, but I find it pretty weird that they decided to do a name change. I personally liked ICYMI more than Last Chance, but then again, Last Chance is a more fitting title. They seemingly accidentally packaged in the wrong version of the Camo Slayer for this event, but it was a new skin, so that was also a nice surprise. Because of that, I'll be giving this event a B tier rating. The next event is Last Chance, Precious Metals. It was interesting to see this event come back, but there wasn't a big enough gap between these repeat events in my opinion. It was kinda disappointing to see this event announced instead of a Series 15 event, but either way it's still nice of them to bring these skins back so I'll be putting it into the B tier. Now onto the final mini event, Last Chance, Hack to the Future 2. Back when this script was written, this was the current event and I found it extremely annoying. They extended the Series 15 event by a week without giving a reason, then released another repeat event right after that, essentially delaying Series 16 by two weeks. It probably would have been better to put the Series 4 repeat event during the week extension to make things go by a little quicker, but they chose not to do that. It is still very good to see the skins return, as the Retro Revenant skin is probably my favorite demon skin. I am very glad that more people can start to use this skin, but even with it being a great event overall, the way they handled this event's release was mildly frustrating so I'll be putting this event into the C tier. This event would have been put into the B tier due to the great skins, but combined with the mild frustration, I also feel like the repeat events have lost their magic. It was pretty cool to see the first couple of times, but now it's just the exact same thing a second time and it delays exciting new skins by a week. It's not too big of a deal though and I seriously do hope that they keep bringing these events back.
Well, that's all I have for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider leaving a like and subscribing for more content. I would genuinely really appreciate it. If you want to support the channel and get something in return, please consider visiting my merch shop. You can find a link on screen now or in the pinned comment. If you want to get $5 off of your next purchase on the store, you can use code HORDE, that's H-O-R-D-E in all caps, to get $5 off your next purchase, which is pretty cool. I would personally recommend the Zombie Maker Slayer design, it's a pretty good one. If you want to better connect with the community, also consider joining the official Horde Mode Gaming Discord server where you can rank up and earn exclusive rewards. Make sure to leave a comment telling me what you would have changed, and please remember that this video is strictly my opinion. Anyways though, thank you all for watching. Until next time.